I am walking to Starbucks. The weather is so nice right now. Uh, it's cool, but it's also really sunny, so it's not too cool and it's not too hot. And um, it's not humid at all, which is great. So I can straighten my hair and it won't frizz out. <laughs> um, I am going to edit fingerprints while I'm at Starbucks and work on basically just that for like however long I can stay. And then this afternoon I have about five orders that I have to ship today since I had so many yesterday. So not too many to work on. It's day 29 of my challenge, which feels really good because I am one day away after today. And um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I do have to make something new to list in my shop today and tomorrow. Um, I do have a fingerprint charm that I have photographed, but I don't think I'm going to list the, that yet. Um, so yeah, I am excited to be almost done with this challenge and I will see you guys later. Bye. I am back from Starbucks and I am about to get started on my orders for today because I only had five. Um, it's a little later in the day, it's like two o'clock right now. So I am going to make those orders and come up with a new listing. I'm really not sure yet what I'm gonna do, but I'll think of something before the end of today and I'll have to be able to photograph it too. So I'm hoping I have enough time to think of something and get it photographed, like make it and photograph it before it gets dark out. So, um, so I'm going to get started on my orders now. So I decided I'm going to make a couple of bangle bracelets um, for my new listings for the end of this challenge. So for today and tomorrow, I'm going to list two new bangle cuff bracelets. So this one is going to just say love on the center, and then I'm going to put hearts at the ends so that you can see them on this side of your wrist when you're wearing it. I like that style a lot. It's hard to photograph because of the fact that you can't see the hearts when you're looking at the front of the bracelet, but I'm gonna just do like a collage photograph for the main listing photo. That way the customer kind of knows that there's more to it than just the word love on the outside. And there are cute little tiny hearts at the ends. So I like the way that that turned out. So it'll have the black ink as well. I'll do that real quick. So now I'll just wait for that to dry before I remove the excess and then I'll make the other one in the meantime. And this one I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have it say, be still. And then I'm gonna put little lotus symbols at the end. And there's the other one, which 
you can't see anyway because of all the ink on it, but I will clean it off and then show you again. So here's the first one. So this one just says love with hearts at the end. And this one says be still with the lotus flower at the ends. And I'm gonna go outside and photograph these before it gets um, dark out. It's still pretty early right now, so I, I have a lot of time before it gets dark out, but it's a little just easier to photograph stuff outside when my kids are not home. I am going to go do that real quick now and then finish up the rest of my orders. And that will be it for day 29, which is exciting. I will list one of these, probably the love bracelet today, and then the other one I'll list tomorrow, and then I will be done with my challenge, which is crazy and exciting and awesome. And I am very happy that I did this. I thought that I was really um, behind on getting new items in my shop this year. I, it's just been, since the pandemic, like, I don't know what it was, but, People have been buying a lot of Etsy products, which is great, um, but it has been so busy the past year, two, two years almost. So, which is great, but also, I mean, I unless you're continuously adding new things to your shop to just keep everything fresh and new, it is um, it starts to get stagnant, which is not a good thing for an Etsy shop, for any business probably. So being able to really focus for the past 30 days, well, almost, um, 29 days <laughs> um, on thinking of new items and really adding, you know, the videos to all the listings and stuff like that. So maybe in the future, that will be a challenge that I'll do is um, add videos to the listings I don't have videos for because when I started my Etsy shop, they didn't have the option to add videos to Etsy listings. So I just recently started creating a video for each new listing because of the fact that that's really appealing to the buyer. And I mean, as a shopper, I appreciate being able to see what a product looks like um, in a video. So it kind of gives you a better idea of like the size of it, the color, the way that it reflects in the light and all that kind of thing. So, um, and it helps my products too. I A lot of silver is difficult to capture with just an image. So being able to photograph and add a video to listings will probably really help. So that'll probably be my next um, idea for like a challenge type of thing. So that's, you know, gonna be a while though because the holidays are coming and the um, my Etsy shop usually gets really crazy busy during the holidays. So I'm excited for that. I am, I like I said, I'm just really happy that I did this challenge and um, yeah, so I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely have uh, future videos weekly at least after this challenge is over, but I am, um, I'm glad that I did this and I very much appreciate all of the likes and comments and yeah, if you have any suggestions on other types of things that I can do like this in the future, please comment them below and I will link all of the listings down in the description. So each one of these days that I add a new listing to my shop, I've added the listing link in the description below. So, um, and then you can find my Etsy shop in those description notes as well. So I have my Facebook page where I'm pretty active on Facebook. That's probably my most social media um, presence. Like that's where I'm most active. And then I go on Instagram quite often too. So uh, you can find links to all of those down in the description below. And I will see you guys tomorrow with my final day of the challenge. I'm excited. Oh, I kind of feel like I should get like confetti or something. <laughs> so um, my kids want to help celebrate as well. So I'm not sure yet what we're going to do. Tonight we're going to eat breakfast for dinner. Uh, that would have been a nice one to do for tomorrow, but I'm going to do that tonight because I'm excited. I'm going to make French toast for dinner tonight with my kids and uh, bacon and muffins. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to dinner a lot. <laughs> so uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.
love you girls. Love you too. Love you. <laughs>